Abud Ganem in a regional vice president in Alterix. Και το θέμα του είναι Data Science and Machine Learning in Click Powered by Alterix. Εδώ είμαστε. Please. Thank you. Welcome. Hello. Kalispera. Well, I'm, I'm um, very excited to be here, and there's a couple of reasons why I'm excited. First of all, um, the partnership with Witsight. So um, we're really excited about exploring the market. I've been at Alteryx uh, three and a half years. I've built our business in, in Europe, uh, primarily in the UK, France, Benelux, Nordics. Uh, this year, uh, our CEO gave me a call and said, Abud, we want to look at other emerging markets. So we're looking at Middle East, Africa, Greece and other parts of the world. Very delighted to be here. Um, today I want to talk you through the concept of Alteryx and why Alteryx for Click. Uh, focus on predictive and data science, machine learning. Um, another why I'm also excited today is because the weather is so great. I was here yesterday, it was raining all day. I felt I'm back in London, so that's great. Uh, I've had few uzos, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much ready for today. I didn't have too much. So the celebration I was told after this event. So thank you for being here and thanks for the opportunity. Um, how many of you actually have heard of Alteryx or know Alteryx, just so I know? Great. You know what I love about these events and new markets is going on stage and talk to people who never heard of us. Because for me, that represents an opportunity to tell you a bit more about who we are and more importantly, why we exist, more importantly, why we've been listed on New York Stock Exchange and why Alteryx customers are actually, uh, sorry, Click customers are buying Alteryx. So just to uh, talk about the problems we solve, if you look at any analytical process before you get to maybe the visualization layer or the reporting layer, you have to, to go through the data pipeline. So you have to understand where your data sources are, you have to bring in that data in, you have to bring in your internal data. We also see a lot of customers that want to link to a specific URL. For example, an airline business, they want to bring in other than the maybe demographics data and the sales data, email campaign data, they want to look at the weather data and see and understand you know, whether there's an impact between weather change and the customer behavior. So they can preempt that behavior and send an email at the right time with the right package. 37% um, of analyst time is typically spent searching for data or preparing data or cleaning data. Now, what's even more interesting, like more than 60% of people, this survey is based on IDC and some uh, HBR reviews. And like, if you wanna get to an analytical process, you're gonna need more than five sources. I'll, I'll show some examples of use case of customers who maybe need 10, 15 different databases. Um, 60 billion in terms of inefficiencies. Um, on average, I think one of the surveys uh, we looked at, um, looking at spreadsheets, how often Excel is actually being used as a data wrangling and preparation on the business side. You hear that quite often. I was last week in uh, South Africa with the biggest click customer, in, it's one of the major banks, and I was sitting with the, um, the investment banking group, and they said, well, we're spending a lot of time preparing data for the business. And every time we create a new report, they want another report. They want new insight. They have ad hoc reports, ad hoc questions. The question reports looking at what happened in the past is kind of become now standard, but business is asking what's likely to happen. Where do we invest? Where do we open a new branch? What, what is the profile of our profitable customer? Are we actually targeting the right people? Those kind of questions become very important today. And then, and you'll have the very scarce data scientists who are very few in the world who know R and Python, they're building models. And we know that 87% of the models are not even being deployed. Because who do they deploy it to? How do they deploy it to? If you go and share a piece of R code with somebody in the business, how are they gonna interpret that information? So that's, that's the challenge today. Um, so for Alteryx, it's an analytic platform that actually covers all spectrum of analytics from data acquisition, metadata management, understanding your glossary, to actually building a collaborative glossary around your analytics. So if somebody in marketing, he goes, he's interested in churn analytics, he's in the Athens 
uh, business, for example, and he has a colleague who lives in Dubai and he's done a churn model as well, they can do a search and see what other models have been built, what workbooks have been built, what they're using, what click dashboards have been built. We also touched on the data preparation or the data pipeline because any analytical process before you get into the data science, you want to actually have the right data set in the right format. You want to be able to quickly prototype. You want to be able to quickly experiment. I hear things, I was with uh, the supply chain excellence group for Nike in EMEA in Amsterdam and I am always interested to hear from customers why they love the platform and one of the analysts jumped and he said, with Alteryx rewards my thinking. Whatever I think about, I can build it. I can start with the business questions, I can get the data, I can quickly clean it, prepare it, I can visualize it, I can answer a business question very quickly. I can go back to my VP and you know what, that new question that you told me, you asked me about last week, I said maybe it's gonna take us three to four weeks because I have to rely on a development team who wants to code, who wants to develop that data set and give it to me, then I'm gonna use it in Excel, merge different Excel files. Maybe I get data externally through suppliers or agencies that we work with. That takes a lot of time. With Alteryx, that becomes very quick, and I'll show you later how and why. Um, and then the deployment of models in real time. So we have, so once you've, you've developed a model, um, what we see a lot of is that you have the data science team, they have to pass that model to the DevOps team, then they can code in Java and other languages and then build the connector to a specific website, for example. That, that process also is time consuming. So we take that away, that kind of time consumption and actually help a business to actually in real time do, for example, scoring of customers online when they're on your platform or in your website. So if you're an insurance company, you know, you ask, you're offering, you want to build a quote engine built on data science. That's something you can deploy in days versus months or weeks. So, um, and the whole, um, the idea around Alteryx also is a, it's a big community feel. So, um, I know we're, we're new in terms of the focus on Greece, but if you go to our um, community, you'll find thousands of users from partners and customers who are building models. So it's all about, you know, reusing, resharing, building that community. So you might, somebody might have thought about your problem and you go online, you can find that solution, you can download it and start working with it. Now, again, just a little bit about us. And I think for me, you know, I'm not a big fan of saying we're the best. I think we're the best in certain situations, but what stands out for me when I speak to customers is two things, ease of use, and the ability to do complex analytics. So we're gonna talk, I'm gonna to talk today about, you know, one of the, I was at the Chief Data Officer event in South Africa last week and a, a big theme is all about the skill set. You know, how do we tackle, how can we allow more people to use data for decision making? How can we move from gut feel to actually data, data driven decisions in the business as well? So we now focus on the data science, so that's why you see us in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for data science, um, and that's for us is the, the big opportunity where we see the opportunity in terms of going into the future and companies approaching us, they wanna look at predictive analytics and how they move the business forward. So what I touched on is that where typically the process of analytics, so again, another example, a company we work with, a customer insight team, uh, about 35 people in that department, they have different people, different skill sets, some know SQL, some know R, some know SAS, SSIS, IBM modeler, all the different tool set. They have another team that have geospatial capabilities and knowledge, and then they have the actual analysts that wanna work with the data. So the, the process is fragmented. You have different people with different skill set, with different knowledge when it comes to data and managing the data, actually trying to build a full view of the customer, the customer 360, or, or understanding the customer behavior. The challenge with that is just, it's time consuming. One of the, that process, you know, the, if, let's say for example, give you an example of a retailer I was with in Denmark and they said, we wanna release the new iPhone, okay? And the chief operating officer gave the VP of analytics a call. They have a visualization layer, right? And, but they gave him a call and say, I want you to give me a full view of all our stores. They have more than 400 stores across all of Scandinavia. I wanna understand you know, when we released the, la the la latest iPhone last year, can you give me like 
understanding a full view of the customer segments. What customer segment was most profitable? What was the attachment rate per segment? What other products did we sell with it that was the most profitable? It's a very marginal business, so they want to know what kind of segments they should be targeting, what other products they should be bundling together. And it all required having to go to a data science team that centrally managed different team, and the response time was about three weeks, three to four weeks. And in Alteryx, they've done it in a matter of half an hour, and I'll show you how. Now, I always, um, uh, it, it sounds too good to be true, I'm with you. Um, when I joined Alteryx and I used to hear these stories, I was like, yeah, right, yeah, right, until I started to use customers, and I'm a big fan of challenging the status quo, challenging how you do things and looking at maybe new technologies, newer way of doing things. Um, we're not here to say, by the way, whatever you do is wrong or if you love code, that's, that's, you don't need to code anymore. That's why our platform is code free and code friendly and I'll show you how. So what we're seeing is that more you know, people, they want to leverage data. You know, you have people coming out of universities, they're using to your working with drag and drop and their iPads, iPhone, they don't want to code, right? We're seeing a uh, lot of people today coming into the marketplace knowing R and Python, right? But how, how can you amplify that knowledge? Because there isn't enough people that know R and Python. There isn't enough people that know code. But there are millions of users who are using Excel before maybe they output into ClickSense, for instance. Now, with Alteryx, we see what we're focusing on is how we can drive what we call the data, citizen data scientists. So those who don't know how to code, that can actually build predictive models or leverage predictive models that are built for them. And I can show you in a minute how does that look like. So, and that's where we feel there's a big shift in the marketplace. In fact, this morning I was reading um, one of the articles at Forbes.com, they talk about you know, uh, companies struggling to attract the right skill set. And they talk about an interesting way, rather than saying, okay, I'm gonna go and recruit data scientists, which you're gonna struggle anyway, and one or two data scientists, they're not gonna solve your data problems. Um, why don't you do an internal survey? And I actually understand in the business, who, who loves maths, who loves statistics, who understands the business, how can you upskill those people to actually do some interesting predictive analytical work for you. And that's what we see the future is. It's upskilling and lowering the barrier to entry to actually be able to work with data. One of the customers in the banking sector, she's a, a risk manager in the back office team working on the trading floor. She said, before Alteryx, I couldn't do what a data scientist can do. I had to go to different teams. I had to rely on different people to do it for me. And with Alteryx now, I can do it myself. Now, I'll also talk to you about how does that actually look like in terms of um, you know, cross-team collaboration. So what we're not saying, we, you know, you have to, the business will do everything, but how can you bring the business and IT, how can you build the business and the development team together? How can you quickly prototype? How can you quickly deploy dashboards, for instance, in Click for, for your internal customers? So the journey with Alteryx always starts with data preparation, right? But so what? So what if you've done the report to understand what does the sale look like yesterday or today? What if you can look into the future? A burger chain we work with, they actually forecast 97% accuracy how many burgers they're gonna sell per store. Well, I was speaking to one of our customers in the mining company in South Africa. Um, they now have a 90% accuracy in terms of forecasting what parts are gonna fail in the drilling machine a week before that might happen. Shell. Shell created um, a predictive model where they linked it with their SMS service. So with Alteryx, you can read, by the way, any data source. You can output any data source. You can also output as an API. We'll call Alteryx from an API. So for email campaigns, for SMS, etc., you can actually look into the future and do preemptive measures or actually predict what a customer might do so I can actually send that customer the right offer at the right place at the right time. So. This is what the, I'll do a quick demo for you, but that's what the platform, platform looks like and what really stands out for me or the customers more importantly is, is, is visual. It's visual, it's logical, you can document it and you always start from left to right in the analytical process. So you can bring in any data sources, we've got connectors to, you name it, different 
different uh, CRM systems. You can bring in Marketo data, Salesforce, Dynamic CRMs. You can build in APIs, so different URLs. I've seen retailers actually build a connector to actually monitor the, the competitor's price in real time and bring that as a data source to know whether we need to discount or not. Um, and then what you do in this process is you prepare the data and you start working with different tools that I'll show you later in the platform. And it's also a code friendly. What we mean by code friendly, you can bring in your SQL code in the platform uh, for the data scientists who know R and Python. They can leverage the open libraries that's out there in the open source world. And more importantly, they can build that in Alteryx and create applications for business people who can use. So let's just say I'm a data scientist working on uh, for the e-commerce team at Adidas. Um, what I can do, I can actually build a model for you. So you're a campaign manager. You can leverage, drag and drop it and click run and know which customers you're likely to target or buy this new piece of, piece of shoes or trainers. You know, that's kind of collaboration, cross-team collaboration and moving from just maybe creating a black box solution just based on code to actually building a collaborative platform. Now, the situations where we can work together with click customers, and I think the most exciting cases for you guys is going to be in the predictive analytics and the spatial analytics. And what we mean spatial analytics, where you can turn easily longitude, latitude, address points into a map. You can look at that drive time analysis. We've got partnership with um, you know, TomTom, uh, -tom, so you can bring in TomTom -tom data so you, into the, the, the whole process for actually understanding where does drive time fits in. So fleet management, you know, looking at actually our, our drivers taking the most optimized route for the best cost efficiency. Where do we open our next door? We've got supermarkets in the UK who have analysts that goes into a board meeting, they open up Alteryx and they'll say, where's our competitors in this area? They pull in the information from Google through the Alteryx API and start looking at, okay, where does it make sense to open our store? So it's easy to use. It allows you to look into the future. It allows you to understand spatial objects, spatial analytics. And then for, for also for the data prep, um, what's interesting, I'll tell you a story later, a use case about a bank we worked with. They're a big ClickSense and ClickView customer in the, in the Nordics, about maybe 3,000 users. I'll talk to you about how the IT, BI team actually use Alteryx to work and support the business. I think that's a very interesting use case because they covered the whole use cases all in one go, all in one platform. Now, just uh, so you get a feel of what I'm talking about, just I'm gonna do a quick check-in on time. So what Alteryx is, this is the actual platform. So what we mean by platform is this is here where you, dine, you design your workflow. So working from left to right. So when I open up the platform, it's actually empty. So it actually invites you to think. It invites you to start with a business problem. And you have different tool set here based on the different kind of functionalities. And as the logic goes from left to right, you start with bringing an input data file. Here you can connect to also of data sources, from files to databases, Hadoop, Spark, Cloudera, AWS, Azure, data lakes, you name it. You can bring in APIs. And then as you go through the right-hand side, you can start actually working with the preparation. So think of it as pre-packaged tools that you can do, you can, you can drop into the workflow, you know, change data files, rename, change, you know, take non-values and replace them automatically. So all that mundane repetitive work, data quality checks that you can actually do on the spot. So for example, you know, what's also interesting, this, this is for example a pre-built example where you can output into ClickSense. And what I mean, there's a lot of pre-packaged models within Alteryx. Here we're looking at predicting, you know, how the customer would behave, you know, and what's even more important, I think for a lot of click customers, you know, they love, they love how you can document the process so you can actually share internally. So you've built a logic or you've built a dashboard or a predictive model, you can actually document it, you can save it. You can even, you can even encrypt it. So for instance, one of the customers we work with, so for, for example, they say, okay, I want my smartest people to do the smartest thing in the business and the people in the business. For example, traders. One of the customers, click customers work with the capital markets team, um, the IT team that supports traders on the trade floor. They realize that traders, they know a lot of R and Python, but they needed a platform where they can bring it all together and produce dashboards. 
for, for like clicks and dashboards in real time, right? And that's the whole idea of self-service, of being able to do that. So what they do, so take for example, let's assume this is the use case. You can bring in customer data, transaction data, different files. And by the way, every time you use Alteryx, you can actually, you can annotate you can also see before and after what's happening in the data here. And that also helps. I heard it a lot, um, with, especially with Click customers, say now I can go and sit with a business user. I can actually prototype with them very quickly and say, is this the type of output you want? What other data sources do you want? Is this, does this result look OK? And then instead of a back and forth processes, you can actually encrypt this process. So what I mean is, Let's say you're granting this trader or somebody in sales or marketing or HR access to the, so you can control access to the database. You can control people, this is all in memory by the way, so they're not, um, they're not changing the underlying data. So then what essentially are we talking about here is you can actually take away, you know, re, you can automate all this repetitive work and you can also bundle this and you can encrypt this process and create your own tool set. So you can give a tool set to somebody in sales and marketing say, drop this tool in your Alteryx workflow, and for instance, then you can actually start accessing the data. You govern it, they cannot change it, it's encrypted, but then they can play, they can prototype, they can innovate. People say, with Alteryx, I can try and test and fail quickly. How can you innovate if you're not allowed to test? How can you innovate if you cannot bring in a new data source or think, what if I do this? What if I do that? Have we thought about this? Have we thought about that? One of the so we work a lot with you know, global consulting companies, McKinsey, Bain, KPMG, Accenture. Um, an interesting conversation I had with uh, one of the M&A advisories, one of the partners, and he said, with Alteryx, our consultants can go and sit with the CFOs and head of businesses and understand the real value of the data. And we can challenge them about their own understanding of the data. Um, so, Think of it as a process where you can do the end-to-end -end process for, for the whole data pipeline. And we've built already pre-packaged tools for predictive models. So you can see here the boosted models, decision trees, etc. It's all built on our language. So you can drag and drop into the platform, right? And you can also build, you can, we have the R capability where you can bring in you know, the R tool where you can actually, if you have a data scientist that know R, they can leverage the R code that's open in the web. Dubai airports, they've built a sentiment analysis by pulling in open source information, right? Taking survey data, instead of buying, they were actually looking to buy a $100,000 platform for sentiment analysis, they built it in Alteryx. It took them 30 minutes to build, 30 minutes, because it's easy to use, access. You can bring in code, sentiment, leverage, Google APIs. Um, it's, I always say the, the limit is your imagination. Um, I know I'm running out of time, I think. Do I have five minutes or? No. Yeah. Uh, for me, um, I think uh, there is a more and more conversation around, again, it's like how we leverage data to understand what's going to happen. You know, and, and we have the use cases from all sectors because everybody wants to know how they're going to spend their money, how they're going to drive efficiencies. And the most powerful thing with Alteryx, you know, we used to talk about a company about, you know, uh, data preparation or we're going to save you time. But I'm a believer like, okay, you save time, but that's not the real value. The real value is once you save time, what value can you bring to your organization? One of the click users I was with in South Africa he said, I lost interest in my job because I'm working. He, does, he has to do so many reports, including a regulatory report. It takes him five hours per, every week to do this regulatory report, just one report. Guess what? It runs in four seconds now in Alteryx. Very easy to use. And the way, I'll tell you about how we engage with the customers. So I'm going to switch back and share one story of a, a big click customer that we worked with and the value they've created working with IT. So this is really interesting because when you look at time to market and how as a development group, for instance, you guys building dashboards for the customers, your internal customers, how you can speed up that process. So you've seen Alteryx as a visual workflow. You can build the connectors very quickly. You can bring in the data, you can prepare it, you can clean it. And that same logic you can automate. So you can actually do more work. It's easy to use. They actually said that they've improved time to market by three times. Development time, two times. They've cut in half the time that 
click team is actually spent on preparing data to build dashboards. Half the time. That's a real use case. Imagine you can cut half the time you're spending on some of the data preparation and you actually start building new dashboards. You bring in cooperating R tools, Python models, to bring in analytics closer to the business and help the business look into the future. So I think one thing uh, that triggered this um, engagement is one of the, the folks who was a very advanced uh, developer resigned, wanted to leave, and everybody panicked. They're like, okay, uh, how do we translate this code to somebody else? That's also a big, big concern for organizations. One of the customers I was with uh, two weeks ago, again, a Click customer, uh, head of BI, he told me, Abud, I don't know what does the code tell me. What's the impact of that piece of code on, on the data? I don't know. With Alteryx, I can see step by step what's happening. And that's so powerful because the biggest asset for a company is actually that knowledge. Imagine you invest in time building and building and then nobody can understand it. What if you can share it? What if you can, you know, in, in this case, we had double the number of people on the business that leveraging data in their work. Imagine you can allow more people in your business to actually maybe do less of the work, repetitive work that you have to do for them. Get them to do it themselves. Get them to innovate. Get them to do that data, uh, boring data preparation work. Maybe if they know R and Python, they want to build models, let them do it. And guess what? Because it's one engine, I call it like the, the English language for analytics. I don't speak Greek. Your, your key language is Greek. By speaking English, we can understand each other. Alteryx, very similar. So if you have somebody that knows SQL, they can use Alteryx. R, Python, they use Alteryx. VLOOKUPs, they use Alteryx. Macros, they can use Alteryx. And that's the kind of the whole idea is kind of the end-to-end -end process, one platform, collaboration, innovation. And then we'll see how you can drive business value to the business. Um, now, I always say the best way to explore this, and this is how we, what we're discuss, discussing with Witside, is to try the product. I've seen organizations in three hours, they built a report that would have taken them maybe a day to do, or a report they couldn't do. Challenge yourself, play with it. Get your smartest people to, to actually use it, to trial it and test it. Now, finally, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna finish now, but the value here is like, I just wanna give you an idea, Southwest Airlines, what they're doing is that they bring in people that know R and Python and they've built predictive models for fuel consumption. The, this process used to take about 150 spreadsheets to do. Days of preparation every month. They have to do it for every airport. The complexity bringing in all that flight information, airport information. They also started to look at the fuel cost or the fuel price going into the next couple of months to know actually do we better buy now or not yet. And sharing that information through apps with the business. And that increased the efficiency or the accuracy of forecasting by 70%. They estimated millions of dollars of actual saving just in that use case alone. So thank you for the opportunity. Um, I think for me, I always say two things, ease of use, complexity of analytics. You can bring in any data source. You can output any data source. You can use Alteryx as an API engine. You can call it through other applications and it works perfectly well with ClickView and ClickSense. So I hope for, I'll, be, I'll be here uh, later if you have any questions, come and grab me, but um, thank you for the attention. Thanks for your time. Thank you.